Hello everyone, welcome to this video and this whole video is about how you should approach calculus problems if you are preparing for a certain examination like J main, J advanced, ISI or CMI or any other examination of the same caliber. So do not do this mistake which almost every J aspirant does. So do not try to cram up all the formulas and knowledge you find inside a very popular JE book. That is not going to help you because if you think you need improvement in your math and you already do not know everything that is required to have in order to ace your JE advanced examinations, then this video is going to help you because you need to understand the concepts from the very bottom down. And that is why what I'm going to show you in this video is going to help you. So, we will start off with a basic example and then dive into the book and explore it and see how this actually helps. So here is the example and this example is aimed to let you understand how we think differently when we, when, we have, when we have studied from different sources and how we have studied it. So this is a question from a past year of JE Advance saying f is a function from reals to reals and that this function satisfies this uh, identity which is f of x equals to 0 to x ft dt for all x. So for basically this is an equation that is satisfied by it, right? Now we need to find the value of f of ln5. Now what is the common approach for this question? You would see that the common approach immediately is to differentiate since we see a variable in the integral, right? So we simply differentiate to get f dash x equals to f of x, which again then gets us f of x equals to some real number k times e to the power x, which we can do and solve because f of 0 is 0 if you put 0 on both sides. It simply gives you f of 0 equals to 0 and that means that f of x must also be 0 since the value of k can be found out to be 0, correct? But there is a there is something intuitively wrong with this method is that we are not even considering the fact before differentiating that is f even differentiable. You know that f is given as a continuous function and continuity does not imply differentiability and we do not even ask ourselves this question is f differentiable. What is a better approach for this? Mean value theorems is the way to go and if you were to study your basics using real analysis like I've showed in the like I'm going to show in the video later on then the first approach that comes to your mind is simply writing the mean value of this function over the interval 0 to x. So say there is a real number c between 0 to x such that this is the mean value of this function you get f of c equals to 1 by x minus 0 0 to x ft dt. I am not going to go into the details of how this was done, you can understand that once you study it. But this immediately leads you back to the fact that the integral 0 to x ft dt is simply equals to x into f of c where f of c is simply a constant, right? And again you can simply consider since the integral is equal to the function itself that f of x is simply equals to x into f of c and again from the conclusion that f of 0 is 0 we can simply get f of ln 5 is also 0. So this is what we are going to understand that why is it so important to know the basics and know it know the fundamentals now let's see how the book looks like so this is the book which i was talking about so i am aaron now if you see inside the book the chapter introduction to mathematical analysis so this is the chapter i was talking about so this chapter will help you build your fundamentals and all your concepts and theory so this is what is missing in your regular je text textbooks right so I will just show you an example here. So let's say you have uh, this kind of questions here. So what they do is they take all kinds of functions, right? So the first few pages are entirely devoted to solving functions and doing piecewise functions, continuity, and then slowly and surely they move on to higher things. Like now after a few pages, you will see limits come into the picture. You see all these different kinds of functions. So they are investigating functions and JE basically asks questions which are based on this kind of topics. Next you can see there are number sequence limit of a sequence. So how they are introducing limits is as follows. They are first defining a sequence which is how it should be and the usual definition and then slowly you are trying to understand what the sequences look like. And once you know the sequences and only then you are introduced to limits and how to evaluate them, right? All these different kinds of limits that prove that the sequence 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 3 by 4 and stuff with the general term this has no limit. So this is how you are supposed to learn limit because usually this is what you are going to learn in your undergrads. But in JE advanced as well, questions like this and also in ISI examinations, these concepts are test. So these concepts are tested and that is why you need to understand this. Now I will just show you one more section of integration here. 
Now, see this chapter, the definite integral. Now, there is a whole chapter on indefinite integral, of course, but see, this is how definite integral needs to be introduced, not by the essence of indefinite integral, like, okay, for calculating definite integrals, we simply need to calculate the indefinite first and then put the limits. No, that is not how it's done. Definite integral first appear as limit of a sum, and that is how you should know it. What are the upper sums? What are the lower sums? And how the limit actually makes sense how definite integral actually approximates areas that is how it was done right and because of doing this you get the whole fundamental by studying this whole book right so you see there how it's basically done and once you go ahead in the chapter you can see all these different kinds of questions which are very basics and also you have to do them step by step so if you follow this book what you're going to do is you're going to get hard problems you're going to get very difficult problems as well later on in the book but you're going to start building your fundamentals. That is what's important, right? And this is a very important chapter again, estimating the integral, the definite integral as a function of its limits, something which is usually overlooked. And this formula you will see a lot of times, but you will never understand why is it used and what is the mean value theorem even for integrals. This is very important. And this mean value theorem has been applied a lot of times in different problems in JE. You remember having problems with bounds in JE, right? where you have this and you have to prove something like this. In this book, which is how uh, an analysis book should be for uh, people who are studying below uh, college, which is from up to class 12, this kind of stuff is very important and bounding functions and bounding integrals has been clearly demonstrated. So all in all, this is what you should be doing. So I hope that was helpful and if it was, please leave a like and also do subscribe if you are new to the channel. Also for any doubts, please comment and I will be sure to reply to everyone. Thank you and we'll meet in another video.